Hello once again, Aaron. It's me, Carmen, coming right back at you. It's August 11th, 2015, the 11th day in my videos every day in August challenge. And so far in 2015, there have been 222 days. Which makes you beg the question, what are you doing with your life, Carmen? What have you been up to? What are you doing? Why are you making these videos, talking to a camera? Why are you crazy? And I think we ask this to ourselves a lot. We're like, what are we doing with our lives? And we look at ourselves and we're like, this is so... Ugh. And even though we might sometimes love what we're doing, think it's great, sometimes we all have those moments where we wake up and question ourselves. Where we're like, what are we doing with our lives? And I think we're all somewhat on a search for enlightenment. We're on a search for happiness. We're on a search for meaning. Meaning isn't always easy to find. And at the same time, it's one of the easiest things. It's right in front of us. Meaning is like a ghost that lures behind your back. He's trying to play a prank on you. And it's like sneaking up on you. It's acting all surprising. And once in a while, it shows itself. But it's been right there the whole time. If you would have just looked behind at the right moment, you would have seen it. You would have caught the meaning. And it's so weird. Life is like that in a lot of ways because opportunities come and go. Things happen in our lives that sometimes we don't find out about till years later that have influenced us. Like someone doing something that led to something else that led to something else that led to something else that affected you. Sort of a snowball effect where one thing starts a sequence of events that comes back to you and maybe continues with you onto someone else. That's what makes enlightenment so hard because life isn't just black and white. It's all sorts of shades of the rainbow. We have to think about life like that when we're looking for enlightenment. We also have to realize that if we worry about looking for enlightenment too much, we're not going to find it. If we worry about looking for happiness too much, we're not going to find it. If we worry about looking for meaning too much, we aren't going to find it. It's not going to make itself obvious if we sit around all day worrying about it. It's just like, you just have to let it happen. You just have to go with the flow. Let life happen. And that's not always easy to do. I'm as guilty of this as anyone else not being able to go with the flow sometimes and just sitting there like... Come on, when is something going to happen? When is it going to happen? When is this rocket ship going to take off? But sometimes you just have to sit back and say, okay, I'm just going to go with the flow and take a deep breath, take a couple of deep breaths and just relax. Just say everything's going to be all right. Whatever problems I have right now are temporary. There are solutions to everything. We can do something about this if you're feeling down. And as for searching for enlightenment, meaning, happiness, it's sort of the same thing. We just have to sit back and relax and say, okay, if we try to force it to happen, it's probably not going to happen. So we should just live our lives and let it happen because that's the best way to be happy. That's the best way to find meaning. That's the best way to find enlightenment. That's the best way to live your life. Just going out there and doing it because oftentimes things find you when you least expect them. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm doing videos every day in August talking about all sorts of things. I have lots of cool plans for the future, and I honestly have some YouTube channel ideas. <gasps> I've said too much. I've said too much! <laughs> but there will be more on my future YouTube plans in the future, but I hope all of you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe for more enlightening videos. Anyways, I hope all of you have a good one. Peace out.